how is it going guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i made a cool product commercial for these two pocket perfumes the most challenging shot in this video was the opening shot where the packaging is flying off from the product in slow motion for this clip i use pictures of the packaging and the videos are made with the pusher from rg kit play and with the rotator from rg kit play and now let me show you the final video and then i will explain to you how i did it step by step in after effects So that was the video. So for the opening shot, I used the pusher from RG Kit Play, and basically what I did here was that I attached the perfume in the packaging to the pusher and then let it push it and this will create a nice effect where the perfume is flying in the air. In the next step, I took a picture of almost every side of the packaging of the perfume. The next step was a full rotation of the perfume. For this, I used the rotator from RG Kit Play. To attach the perfume to RG Kit Play, first I must drill a hole to the perfume to empty it, and then I used the medical needle, which is perfectly fits to the rotator, so I was able to attach the perfume to the rotator. Before I dive into After Effects, I open all the images of the packaging in Photoshop and remove the backgrounds from all the images and then save them as PNG file. Then I import everything to After Effects where the magic happens. So now let me show you how I made the packaging fly off from the perfume. I create a new composition where I import all the PNG images. First, I start to animate the left side of the label and the back side of the label. So I select both the images and create a new composition. Later you will see why I create a new composition from those two images. So in the new composition with the left side of the label and the back side of the label, I select both images and make them 3D. The next step is moving the anchor point on both images to the edge of the image. The reason why I move the anchor point to the edge of the image is because I want to rotate the image from the side, not from the middle. Then I play with the rotation and with the timing until I'm happy. Then I went back to composition where I imported all the images. The next step is to make all the layers 3D, even the pre-composed one. The reason why I pre-composed the two images is because I want to animate it as one object with an animation in it. Next, I move the anchor point on every layer to the edge of the image. Now I again play with the rotation and the timing until I'm happy. When I'm happy with the illusion of the package opening, I can remove the background on the clip where the perfume is rotating on a Y axis. To remove the background from the shot, I use the Roto Brush tool. Then I pre-render it. Now I can create my main composition where I import all the clips. The first clip where the pusher is pushing the perfume, the second clip which is the packaging and the third clip which is the rotating perfume. On the first clip I just stop the clip where I want to start the animation of the packaging flying off. Then I position the perfume and the packaging to the exact same position where the perfume is in the first clip. Then I play with the position, rotation and with the timing of both clips. So basically I just rotate the packaging on the X axis and then move it on the Z axis to create that nice illusion that the camera is flying through the packaging. When the packaging is off the screen, I let the perfume rotate and bring it closer. For the spray effect, I download the footage from storyblocks.com, which is captured in super slow motion. The clip is captured on black background, so basically I just mask out the part I don't want to see and then apply the screen effect to remove the background and position it where I want it to be. And this is basically the opening shot. Now I can quickly explain the next steps. So the next was the transition between two perfumes. Basically I put two clips on the timeline. Both clips must be the same so the timing, the position, the scale must be the same on the both clips. 
Then I place the splash animation above the second clip and set the perfume layer below alpha matte. Then I animate the second perfume to fly close to the screen, fly out again and then land it in the model's pocket. To show how the perfume fits in the pocket, I use my girlfriend and myself as a models. In the next shot, I wanted to show the multiple variation of the perfumes, so basically I took a few pictures of different perfumes. Then I bring all the pictures to Photoshop, remove the background and save all the images as a PNG file. Import all the images to After Effects, place them to the scene and make a simple cut between them. On the last image, where the spray effect is, I basically duplicate the image then mask out the bottle and mask out the spray part. After, I animate the spray part of the perfume moving down and then back up. Then I place the spray clip which was downloaded from storyblock.com to the composition and place it to the position where I want it to be. The next clip where the particles are flying in the air was downloaded from storyblocks.com and on the last clip is me pushing the perfume into my pocket. So this is it for today. I hope you like it, learned something from it or at least get inspired for your next project. If you like it, don't forget to press the like button and the subscribe button. Thank you and see you in the next one.